Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the next compound proposition, which is actually called the conditional statement. Now, to understand the meaning of conditional statement, we will again use uh, the knowledge of our set theory. And using the knowledge of our set theory, we will define how the conjunction, uh, how the conditional statement definition comes to be, how the truth table of conditional state statements really come up to be. So suppose we have a person X and uh, there are two places, uh, place A and place B. Okay, now what I will tell you is that the person X is uh, in city A. Okay, X is in A and X is in B also. So X is in place A and X is also in place B. Then is there a possibility that place a is sitting inside place b is there a possibility um is this can this happen can set a or can place a be completely contained inside place b so the answer to that question is yes right for example x is in pune and uh, x is also in in maharashtra right so obviously pune is contained in what pune is completely inside inside Maharashtra. So the, the possibility is yes, it is possible, right? So is a subset of B possible? So the answer to that question is yes. Let's take the second case. Suppose I give you that a person X is in A, is in A, but uh, X is not in B. So person X is inside the place A, but he is not inside place B. Then can this situation occur? Can A be inside B? So is it possible that a person is in Pune, but he is not in Maharashtra? So it is not possible, right? If a person is in Pune, then he has to be in Maharashtra. So the answer to this question that is A subset of B possible, the answer to this question is no right the third possibility is suppose that x is not in a x is not a member of a but x is in b right is this possible uh, that a person is not in pune but he is in maharashtra can this uh, happen yes this can happen because a person may be somewhere in nashik right so a person is that person is not in pune but that person is sitting inside Maharashtra. So yes, this is possible that A can become a subset of B. And the last possibility is that suppose a person is not in A. Suppose X is not in A and X is also not in B. Right. This is very crucial. So I know a person who is not sitting in Pune and who is also not in Maharashtra. Okay, is it possible that the first place Pune is contained inside Maharashtra? Yes, because a person may be somewhere in Mum, uh, maybe somewhere in Gujarat. Okay, so in that case, if the person is sitting in Gujarat and that that person is neither in Pune, that person is neither in Maharashtra. So can it happen that the the city Pune is contained inside the place? I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm not now saying places. Can it happen that place Pune is uh, contained in place Maharashtra? So the answer is why it should not happen. It can happen because the person has no relevance with respect to the place because the person is already out of both the places. So there is a possibility that Pune uh, or the city A can be contained in place B or city B. Okay, so the answer to this question is also yes. So the question you're supposed to ask always yourself is that can it happen that first set is a subset of second set? Then the answer you will get for the first one, you will get yes, it has to be. Second one, if X is in A, X is not in B, then it is not possible because it cannot happen that the smaller set is uh, element is in the smaller set, but it is not in the larger set. So the only second answer is what? The second answer is no. Okay. So this is the reason we were looking at this particular 
Venn diagram. So from this logic, now we can prepare the conditional statement table. So we have true and true. Then the answer was true. It's X is in A, X is not in B. Then X cannot be a subset of X cannot be a, a cannot be a subset of B. So this answer is false. False. True was also true. And false. False was also true. OK, so this becomes the statement. Uh, this becomes the definition of conditional statement. What is the definition? Look at this particular line. The second line tells you something which is very important. What is it telling? If P is Q and P is true and Q is false, only then P implies Q will become false. Otherwise, all the answers will become true. So that gives me the definition of conditional statement, which is also called as implication. OK, so what is the definition? Let P and Q be propositions. Then P implies Q is false. Where is the statement false? The statement is false under only one condition. If P is true and Q is false, otherwise Otherwise, it is always true in all the other cases. That means otherwise, otherwise in all other cases. P implies Q will become what it will become is true. So this becomes the definition of our conditional statement. So let us now solve this problem. Express the statement P implies Q in different ways. Right. So let us take P is that Samir learns discrete mathematics. And second statement is Samir will find a good job. OK, now we will write the same statement uh, uh, P implies Q in different different ways that we have seen above. Right. So for example, the first one. Now I want to write it in the fashion of if P then Q. You just I'm just teaching you how to write statements in logical way. So how will I write this? If Samir learns discrete mathematics, then he will find good job. The second one is Q whenever P. The original statement is this. See, the original statement is that if a person learns discrete mathematics, then he will find a good job. This the same statement can also be said in other words is this way. Q whenever P, P. means what? If Samir, no, sorry, Samir finds a good job, Whenever Q is over, whenever is over, whenever he learns discrete maths. So meaning of both these statements are the same. OK, the third way that you can write is Q unless negation P. Now what is Q? Q means Samir will find a good job. Samir will find good job unless he this is negation p he does not learn he does not learn good job this is how will you you will write the answer for the third one i've expressed the following statement in the form of p implies q see now i will read this i will i will remember to send you the address so i will call this statement p so what is p i will remember to send you address and second statement is second statement is you send me an email you send me email 
so this means that this statement is written in which form p only if q p only if q equivalent to p implies q and therefore i will write it as what if i remember to send you address then you will send me email okay so now let us uh, do this problem of writing this particular statement in the form of conditional equivalence so here you have if you keep your textbook then it will be a useful reference so what is the statement p here your p is that keep textbook with you and uh, what is the q statement or it will uh, it is a useful reference so here it is clearly in the form of if p then q correct if p this is p then q and in the logical form it can be written as p implies q the next question is that that you get the job implies that you had the best credentials so this statement you get the job i will call a so get the job and the statement b that i'm calling you had best credentials so this statement is written in the form of a implies b okay a implies b and what is the equivalent form of a implies b we have uh, i have already told you all the equivalence of conditional statements a implies b is same like what it is same like p implies q right and p implies q can be written in the form of p implies q right so this means a implies b so this will be the this will be the logical form of the above statement so this statement actually means that a implies b means what if a then b correct means if you get the job then you had best credentials this will be the english conversion of the above statement the beach erodes whenever there is storm so i will call the statement p as beach erodes and statement q i'm um, i'm sorry i am not going to use p and q as i told i will use a and b and statement b is there is storm so this question can be written in this form this is a whenever whenever b right and what you have a whenever b sorry and what do you have in your uh, list of conditional equivalence you know that q whenever p is same as what it is equivalent to what p implies q so here a whenever b means what a is the role of q is played by a and the role of p is played by b so what will p imply q will be replaced by in this particular thing here it will mean b implies a so what is the meaning of b implies a if there is a storm if there is storm then beach erodes this is the meaning of the about state in the form of if and then the next question is you will reach the summit unless you begin 
to climb late so the first statement i will call a you will reach summit the second statement b i'm going to call uh, call you will climb late you will begin to climb late okay so the same statement in, in terms of a and b can be written as what a unless b this a unless b if you recall our logical uh, equivalences that we have written in the last point we had written that q unless negation p is equivalent to p implies q right so who is playing the role of q here the role of q is played by a who is playing the role of p negation p is b okay so let me do some rough work here negation p is nothing but b this means p is what p is negation b and what is the value of q the value of q is q is a p implies q so what will p implies q be replaced by here in terms of a and b what is p p is negation b implies what is q q is nothing but a so negation b implies a so this is the equivalent form of the above statement in the words of a and b so how will you write this in english negation b implies a what is the meaning of negation b implies a if negation b then a so if what is negation of b if you climb late if you climb late then sorry in ne negation b is if you do not climb late right because b is you will climb late if you do not climb late then you will reach the summit remember do not try to make out meanings of these sentences okay this is just logical conversion of the given statement you will reach the summit unless you begin to climb late in the form of sub negation b implies a